Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiana, I can only be me, and I'm coming back at you with another video. This video in particular, I am going to be doing um, a brunch for dinner. You know, it's going to be uh, potatoes, sausages with eggs, and cheese. I'm gonna, it's going to be like some other potatoes, and I'm going to add some onions to it, and some seasonings and everything, and this is going to be oh so good, y'all. So, yeah, I'm just getting started. I just already peeled the potatoes to try to cut down on some time, y'all. So, um, I'm going to take these potatoes and I'm going to be cutting them in two circles. Not too thin and not too thick. But, you know, just about, like, about that thick. Okay? So, I'm going to cut these into circles just in circles you can cut them into any shape you want to cut them into but i'm cutting mine into circles and then i'm just gonna fry these until they get tender and a little just a little bit of oil and then i'm gonna add some uh onions to it okay so I'm getting a little fancy with it. I'm cutting it kind of like on an angle now, you know, to give them a better little, a better look. I'm gonna put it like that. A neater look, like that. Just trying to do something, child. Just trying to do something. Anyway, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. And welcome back to all my old subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, y'all, please do not leave this video before subscribing. If you like what you see, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And to be notified each and every time that I upload a video, y'all, uh, hit that bell. And welcome back to all my old subscribers. All right. So I'm getting that all cut up. All right, so now I'm cutting up an onion. And it's just a small onion. And I took the onion and I cut it in half. And now I'm cutting it into thin pieces like this. You know. Just like that. Take the onion, cut it in half. And just... All right, y'all, so now I got some smoked pork sausages and I'm just cutting them up thin. That way they'll, uh, you know, they'll cook evenly and a little bit faster once I put them in this pan. You know, I don't want them, I'm gonna just let them brown just a little bit and I don't want them to get all the way done because they're gonna continue to cook with my, um, with my um potatoes so I'm cutting them the same way I did the potatoes on the angle to give them a nicer look And if you have some bell pepper, you can also cut that up. Some green bell pepper or whatever color bell pepper that you would like. You can also cut skewer some of that and add that to it. Alright y'all, so now I got my big skillet on the stove. The big one. The big, big, big one. The real big one. I got this on the stove and I'm letting it heat heat up. And so once it heats up, I'm gonna add just a little bit, just a little bit of my bacon fat grease to the arm um, pan. 
just a little bit, just to give them something to fry in, you know, because they're going to make their own grease. And if I didn't say, this is smoked pork sausage, okay? And you use whatever kind of smoked pork sausage that you would like, not what I like. You use what you like, okay? All right, y'all. So now that I got my pan all heated up and everything, I'm just going to take about, if I can dig it out of here, take about... That was about a teaspoon right there. About a tablespoon of my oil. This fat, this bacon fat. Part of it. Put it down in my pan and let it melt down. And then I'm gonna add this sausage. And how about y'all? I done dug over my freezer right and found I got some bell pepper enough, honey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So Anyway, um, okay, melt that down. So I'm gonna add some bell pepper to this now, y'all. All right. So now I'm gonna get these sausages down in here. Okay. And get those mixed around real good. And once they start getting a little color to them, I'm going straight in with my bell, with my um, with my onion, and then I'm going to add potatoes and all of that right along with it. I'm going to give them time to brown up. And I'm going to add two different meats to this. I'm well, two different kind of sausage for this. I think that's what I want to do, y'all. You know? But, you know, I just be winging it. Get out. I lost my sausage, y'all. Uh, hold on. So I just be winging it. But I think I want to add me some these little sausage patties on this to it. I don't know. What I want to do. Let me see. Turn it on. No, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna add the sausage patty. I know what I'm gonna do with the sausage patty, y'all. Y'all, I know what I'm gonna do with that dough. I know what I'm gonna do with that dough. I got a plan for that dough now. I'm gonna show y'all when I get to it. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all when I get to it. Once I get this off this eye over here, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with that dough. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with that dough. I got the smell of these sausages, honey, and the ideas started coming together. You hear me? So now, I'm going in with the onions. You see how they done cooked up a little bit? They ain't got the color all the way yet. They ain't browned all the way, but they're going to get there. They're going to get there. I'm going to put this bell pepper on in here, too, and let this start defrosting and melting down and stuff. And I'm going to throw this onion on over in there, just like so. And as they get stirred around, they'll get to breaking up. So I'm going to throw that on in there. Mm -hmm. All of y'all can go smell it. Y'all know I ain't gonna stop it just smell so good that y'all y'all already know that. Right? You already know that, right? Okay. Ooh, that smells good. Okay. So now I got egg on them. All right. Sure. All right. Okay. Come on. Okay, so I almost got it, you know, uh, beef sausage, okay, so I'm going to let it finish with these potatoes, okay, so I'm going to take my potatoes, and I'm just going to put them on down in this pan, the low water and all is just going to help it steam them up and cook.
and don't add no salt to this or no seasoning until I soften up my potatoes a little bit, okay? But, okay, so now I got these potatoes on up in here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna leave them just like this. I'm gonna take my lid and I'm gonna put it on and let it sweat and start cooking. And then once it starts doing what it, what I want for it to do, I will be right back. But I'm going to show y'all through along the process, okay? So we're going to get on over here and start making this, this what I decided to put on the potatoes and sausage and eggs, okay? All right? And what I'm making is going to be good for dinner. And it's also going to be good for my husband to take for lunch tomorrow. And, and if you got some spinach, y'all, add some spinach to it. Make it your own. Add just some spinach to it. Because if I had some spinach, I probably would throw it off in there, too. And, um, you know, on my little portion of it or whatever. All right, y'all. It took me so long to get my seasonings and stuff together. So, while uh, my pan is frying good, I want to check and see what's going on. So, I ain't want to do that without coming back and doing it with y'all, okay? So, I'm going to check this before I move on to the next step. And y'all don't pay attention to my mess, but this is stuff I got going, sitting on my counter because I need it on my counter. Um, you know, because I, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a birthday party or whatever for my grandma. <coughs> and so, I need this stuff to stay out. So I, you know, have everything how I want it. I already, you know, everything out for what I'm going to be making or whatever, all the ingredients and stuff on the counter. And then... You know, I don't have so much digging to do. Put it like that. All right, so they ain't soft enough. We just, we just got them, you know, coated in that oil now. Okay? So they ain't soft enough yet. But I'm going to put the lid back on it, and when I come back, I'm thinking that's when you're going to start, once they're not looking so white on the outside, then that's when you're going to add the seasoning to it. I'm just winging it, y'all. This is my first time doing something like this. This one, anyway. So, hey, it is what it is. I know what I want it to taste and look like, and that's what I'm doing for. That's the part of cooking, y'all. All right, so let's get on a little bit to this gravy. I'll try to be good and not be tossing y'all all over the place, but it can't help it. Okay, so I am about to make some sausage gravy to go on top of these potatoes. So I'm gonna use two sausage patties. Two patties. Just a little bit of oil to give it a little help, you know. And you know we're gonna have to add some. That's good right there. But now. But you know I gotta get my roux going for my sausage, so I mean for my gravy. So that's just enough for now. Okay. So I'm gonna get these fried up and browned on and broken down or whatever, and then I'll be right there. Alright y'all, so now I got the sausages fried up a little bit. So I'm going to add just a little bit tad more oil to this. Just a little bit. And I'm going to leave them sausages in the pan. They'll be alright. And I'm going to make this gravy. And this one here is going to be somewhat of a white gravy y'all. I guess I don't know child. Let's see how it turn out. I can make it white. By adding milk to it, but I don't want to do that. Not tonight, uh, honey, because that's not going to agree with my stomach, honey. Okay? So, I got that in there, the flour here, and I'm just going to mix it around with these sausages, like so. And I'm going to add a little bit more. I 
it's going to be a tan gray one. Cook this flour a little bit to get that flour that taste out of it. I'm going to add a little bit more because I don't like how it looks so bloody. So I'm going to add just a little sprinkle more. And just like that. That's how I want it. And then it'll break down as a cook to how I want it to be exactly. So this isn't too thick. I just gotta cook that flour. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Once it breaks that down. <clears throat> Don't burn your uh gravy either, y'all, when you're doing it. Make sure you keep the stir on it. On these potatoes, I got the eye turned down to about uh, medium high. Okay. So now, all I'm going to do is add my water. And then just stir it up. I'm going to keep adding water to this until it gets to my desired thick uh, um, the way I want it. I can't think what I was trying to say. So this is going to be a white version. And you don't want your gravy lumpy. You want it smooth. So now I'm going to add some black pepper, some chicken seasoning, and a little bit of, a little garlic, and some parsley. Thank you. Just 
turn it down on low and let it simmer. And that's good, y'all. Okay, so let's get back to the potatoes. Right. I had to push them off the hot because they were cooking too fast. So I had to keep a watch on them. I don't want to burn up my potatoes. And they was cooking too, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, shy. So we can, look how they're going to got soft. So we can now just go ahead. And look, that did not take that long, y'all. So now we can go ahead on and add us some garlic powder. Oh, 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 oh. this is be so good, y'all. Some parsley because it makes it look pretty. Yes. I'm gonna add some black pepper. Just sprinkle a little salt over it. Not too much, because you know the sausage just got salt. And now I'm going to do this thing. Good stir. Good try. Some of them going to break up, but that's all right. That's what we got right there, y'all. That's what we got right here. So far. So far now. Mmm. Mmm. Good child. I'm going to push that over there. So now I'm going to get started on them eggs, okay? And then once I get this finished up, I'll be back. But y'all, the gravy is still going. It's still on low. And it's doing pretty good. Okay. So. I'll be back as soon as I get this plated up. I was going to scramble the egg. But I wanted to look five starish. So I decided to fry me an egg. Now if you are the one. One of the ones that like sunny style of egg. Then go ahead on do your egg like that. It'll look even better. I ain't knocking nobody. Go ahead on, honey, because the presentation will be so nice if you, if you like the egg like that. So, I don't like my egg like that. So, I'm going to bust the yolk on mine, but I do like the yolk in it, okay? But I like my yolk too. So, um, I'm going to fry the egg. I'm going to fry the egg, and that's how I'm going to do mine. I was going to do the scrambled, but it's going to be even better with this right here. All right? So, just showing you how I'm going to fry my egg. Sometimes I can get it, sometimes I can't. But today, I'm gonna get it. Cause it's not gonna show out on me on camera. So I'm gonna let the egg just cook a little bit cause that's how I like it. I didn't put no salt on it, I just put some black pepper and that was it. It's like when you put salt on a fried egg, it made the egg too solid. So I'm going up under there and now I'm flipping it over. And that's how I do it. So now I'm gonna let this cook on the other side. And then if, it's, if I feel like it's not cooked enough on this side, by the time the other side brown, I'm gonna flip it over one more time and I'm gonna let this side cook where the yolk is. That's what I'm concerned about, cooking the yolk all the way through. So yeah, so that's how I do my egg. And that's how I know when it ain't cooked because it's still, you know, mushy in the middle. Okay, so I turn it over one more time and let that side cook. And that's all I do. So now I'll be back when it's done. Y'all look at how this gravy is turning out. It's nice and not too runny. It's just right. And this is a tan gravy. It ain't a white gravy. But if you add milk to it, it'll get white, okay? So, I'll be back. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna plate it up for grandma. 
and then I'm gonna show y'all more picture book. So that's how I'm gonna do it right here for grandma. For people that, the ones that don't eat cheese or don't want cheese. And y'all get the picture plate in the end now. Okay. So now take a fried hold on let me get one of the take a fried egg then I'm just gonna take the gravy and get some of those sausages too when you pick it up get that gravy and we're just gonna go right on top just like that mm -mm -mm. and that's it and you heat it with some parsley and bam that's it right there y'all so I hope y'all like this recipe. Until next time, this is your girl Tiana. I can only be me. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every one of you guys. And if you try this recipe, let me know what you think down below. Okay? So, stay tuned for the pictures in the end of how I do, my, how I do mine. But just know that up under my egg, I'm going to add a slice of cheese. Or you can add some shredded cheese. Whichever one you would like. Okay? But this is it. And then I'll let y'all see my bam. So this time I'm doing mine. I got my potatoes on the plate. I'm gonna put my cheese on there. And I'm gonna put two eggs on mine. Like so. Drizzle it with this gravy. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Turn the light so you can see better. Or maybe like that. Mm -hmm. Y'all see it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that's that. And I'm gonna just hit it with a little parsley like that. Alright now. Bon appetit.